Welcome. How are you doing? I'm sorry, something happened with my camera. How are you today? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. That's cool. And the rest? How was your day? No comments, are you silent? Why are you so quiet? Hello everyone. Sorry, I am driving to my home right now. I am be, listening. Be careful, okay? Hello, Kimberly. Hello, Christian. Hi. Uh, since, well, Let's begin. Since we are practicing questions, uh, I want to know if you have any question. Why not starting with uh, more questions? Something you want to ask. Or I'm going to ask. Um, for example, what time do you usually get up on weekdays? Do you get up early or do you get up late? Welcome, Jose Alexander. <laughs> Oh, había alguna pregunta, perdón, que acabo de ingresar. Okay, no, I just said welcome. And we were I I was actually I I have a, a question. The question is what time do you usually get up? What time do you usually get up? Hi. Hello. Yes. Yo creo que el compañero iba iba a contestar también. Ah, okay. As we are practicing questions, that was the question. How or not, what time do you usually get up every day or on weekdays? Okay, I get up 7 a.m. 7 a.m., cool. Don't forget your camera, guys. That was Maria Stephanie, right? 7 a.m. Dice que tengo problemas con el internet, entonces... Cuando enciendo la cámara se me desconecta la, la clase. Oh, that's too bad. Okay. And Jesús, what time do you usually get up? Eh, eh, sería como oh. la hora de, levant de levantarse. Yes. I am... Um, 
five. At five. That's very five. early. Yeah. That's early. Mm -hmm. Who else? Someone else. No, you the teacher. Yes. I why would would at at six a.m. at six a.m. Yes, that, that's early too. Now, and and what time do you go to bed at night? We finish classes at nine. What time do you go to bed? Uh, a las a las se, a las Night. At night. Night. It, 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 night is the good good to bed. Immediately after class. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, because uh, I get I get I get that is the uh, the four o'clock uh, exercise. Oh, so you get up at four. Yeah. La, la, la. At four. At four. Cool. Okay. I, I was having problems. I, I wanted to share this, and I was having some problems. Um, we're going to continue with questions. If you notice this part, in, in this case, we're going to speak about parts of the house and furniture, right? Vocabulary. Uh, we're going to practice this conversation. And if you notice, uh, there we have more questions. Do you live in an apartment? Do the no. bedrooms? Okay, hold on. No, no problem. Solo que eh, todavía me, me cuesta ahí elaborar las cuestiones. I know, I understand. It, it, it's difficult. It's a little bit difficult, but that's yes. why. Difficult. Yes, we are practicing, okay? That's why we continue practicing making questions. Okay. Like this, okay? Yes. So, um, I'm going to, now I'm going to ask you. Question number one, do you live in a house or do you live in an apartment? In, in house. In a house, okay. Yes. Everyone can answer, okay? Everybody can answer. Do you live downtown or do you live outside the city downtown downtown someone else i live in far in the city okay i live in san luis talpa okay another question do you have a big house or do you have a small house? My house is big. It's so beautiful. I relax the time. Um, the more tree, hay muchos árboles y vegetación en el campo. <laughs> okay, exactly, exactly. This is what we are going to practice. El, esa frase de hay, hay esto, hay lo otro. Ya vamos a llegar, nos vamos a apresurar un poquito. Ok. En, do you have a garage in your house? <clears throat> yes, my house has two floors. On the first uh, floor, um, there is a a guest bathroom and living room 
and dining room, dining kitchen room. on dining room, kitchen on laundry room, and garden and garage. Gar uh, on the second, on the second floor, uh, there are the junior bedrooms, three junior bedrooms, on um, master bedroom. Was is the bedroom, another shared uh, bathroom, and terrace with a beautiful view. Well, that's a beautiful house. Good, thank you, Kimberly. And do you have another question? Do you have a yard in your house? Yes. Someone else, thank you. Can I you? don't understand that question, teacher. Okay, we're practicing the vocabulary parts of the house and we are making questions. Okay, seguimos practicando cómo hacer preguntas y ahora con partes de la casa. El do you have, do you have, do you have. Tiene usted, tiene usted, do you have, y luego la, la parte de la casa. Por ejemplo, do you have, do you have a yard? Vean la parte de la casa. Yard, patio. So, do you have a yard in your house? Tiene usted un patio en su casa? Do you have a yard? Ah, okay, gracias. Uh, if I have a list of verbs, mm, yes, I have. I can share one. Si tiene. Yeah, I have a, well, but do you need well uh, I'm going to try okay I'm going to give right. you I'm going to try to give you a list of verbs okay I'm going to try to give you a list of verbs mm -hmm. okay let's see now, uh, what's the question? So the question is, what about Kenya? Kenya, do you have a yard in your house? Yes, I have a yard in my house. Do you have a garage? No, I don't have I don't. In a garage. Okay. And Nancy, do you have a bathroom in your bedroom? What about you, Jesus? Do you have a bathroom in your bedroom? I don't know. I don't you, know. You don't know the question. You don't understand the question. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just listen. La, la frase siempre es la misma. Do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Tiene usted, tiene usted, tenés, y luego la parte de la, de la casa, que están allí, la imagen. Eh, bedroom, bathroom, if you see here, we have a, a bedroom, a bedroom, and where is the bathroom? We have a bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. So, do you have a bathroom? In your bedroom, es que sí la entiendo la pregunta, sí lo comprendo, pero lo que me cuestan son las respuestas. Okay, en ese caso, si se acuerdan, pueden ser respuestas cortas. Vamos a ver, ¿cómo sería una respuesta corta? Voy 
What is it? Okay. What is it? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Esa sería una respuesta corta. No, I don't. O, yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Sí, no. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. That, and that's it. So, another question, Ma Jesus, for you, Jesus. Um, do you have a car? Do you have a car? Yes, I do. Okay. Now, let's continue with the house. Do you have a kitchen in your house? Yes, I do. All right. And let's see someone else. Christian, do you have a garden in your house? Yes, I do, teacher. Okay, cool. All right, now I'm going to I'm going to read the vocabulary. You listen, okay, and try to repeat. I'm going to I'm going to start with the apartment. Okay, the apartment. We have bathroom, bathroom, bedroom, closet, dining room, living room, kitchen, elevator. Oh, the lobby. We have the lobby. In the house, we have a first floor. We have the first floor and we have a second floor. Okay. In the first floor, we have a dining room. We have a kitchen. We have a kitchen. Please share. Yes. What does it mean, dining room? Dining room is the place where you eat. El comedor. Oh, okay. Dining Thank room. You. Uh huh. Dining room. Then we have the kitchen. We have the laundry room. And what is the laundry room? Yes, okay, laundry room. Centro de lavado? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then we have the living room. We have a television in the living room. We have a garage. And then we have a bathroom. We have the bathroom. We have a bedroom here. We have a closet. We have, what are these? Stairs. What are stairs? The garage. Exactly, the stairs. And we have a hole. What's a hole? What is a hole? Como pasillo. Yes. Una. Estancia, right? mm -hmm. whole. Okay, that's the vocabulary. No problems, no new words, right? Palabras nuevas. Those. Yo tengo un yeah. Yes. Este yard eh, sería lo mismo que decir garden. Not exactly, eh, because the yard in the garden. You have flowers, a lot of flowers in the garden. Uh, the yard can be an empty space. Puede ser un, lo que le llamamos el patio, ¿no? Sin flores. El, el patio, solo ahí. Teacher. The, the garden, we have flowers. Okay. Yes, mister. In the question. Yeah. Uh, living room, que no es... Sala de estar. Yes. Y, y laundry room es la lavandería, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá, es que escuché que le dijo que el living room era 
cuarto de lavado. Um, no, no. The, let's clarify. The laundry room. The laundry room is donde no, se lava, right? No, yes. Lava, el cuarto. Donde tenemos uh -huh. la pila, right? <laughs> okay. That's the laundry room. The living room is the yeah, main. Sala yes. And the dining room is the place where we eat, right? Comedor. Dining okay. room, living room, and laundry room. That's it. Cool. Kitchen, kitchen la cocina. Yes, the kitchen. The kitchen. Kitchen. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's continue. Let's move on. Here we have a short conversation. Who wants to practice the conversation? Linda and Chris. I need one boy, one girl. A T. Oh, but give me a second before I forget. Um, ya pasó lista. Ajá, exactly. Justamente a eso. Give me a second, please. Before I forget. Thursday. Alison, Rachel, Celi Ortiz. No, Alison. Carlos Andrés Pacheco Calderón. <clears throat> no. Seriously. Christian Alexander Pérez Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra González Cuellar. Present. Thank you. Jesús Antonio Arteaga Benítez. Present. Nice. Thank you. José Alexander Pacas Álvarez. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Carla Elizabeth Hernández Peña. Present. Thank you. Kenia Briseida Torres Martínez. Present. Kimberly Janine Aguillon Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Lindsay Indira Lobos Lobo Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. María Ana de Jesús González. Present teacher. Thank you. María Stephanie Orellana Flores. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Nancy Edith Cruz Mejía. Present. Thank you. Rolando Daniel Urrutia Salazar. Present. Great. Rolando Daniel. Oops. Present. Tania Stephanie Rivera Landaverde. Tania? No. Verónica Magali Martínez Martínez. 
present teacher. Thank you very much. Victor Manuel Guardado Torres. Present coach. Thank you. And Vilma Rubenia Campos Martinez. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you very much, everyone. Let's continue with the conversation. So, to volunteers. Yo, well, yo. Who? Gabriela, no. Who? Yo, teacher. No, no, yo. Como le... no, hay como levantar la, la, la hand aquí en la. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, Jose Alexander, Chris, and uh, Vilma, probably. Vilma, I guess. You are Linda, Vilma. One, two, three. Okay. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very deep? Well, it is you know, it has uh, a big living room, a small bedroom. A bedroom and a kitchen and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lake View Drive. Lake View Drive. Lake View Lake View Drive. Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a beer? Yes. It does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Building. Okay. Thank you very much. This, this phrase, guess what? Guess what? ¿Qué crees? O oh, adivina que. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? What's it like? ¿Cómo es? What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Nice. Uh -huh. What is view? View. View, the view, vista, view. A great view, una grandiosa vista. But this is... Este es un sarcasmo lo que le dice. Dice, does it have a view? Tiene una vista. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Tiene una grandiosa vista hacia el otro edificio. Hacia el otro edificio. Exactly. Okay, two more volunteers. I am teacher. Lindsay. I am teacher. Lindsay Jesus. Lindsay yes. Linda. Jesus Chris. Jesus Chris. Okay. Guess what? I have a new department. That's a grab. What it's like? It is a really beautiful. It's 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 very big. Well, it has a big living room, 
a small bedroom, a bathroom, uh, and a kitchen. Where it's it? I'm late you a drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It's just a repeat of another apartment building. Perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> Maria Stephanie. Another boy? Hi. I need another boy. Boys, no more boys. Another girl, two girls. Gabriela, perfect. And you start. This is Linda or Chris? You are Chris, Gabriela, Linda. Okay. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is like? It's really beautiful. Drive. Yes. Oh, nice. Do, doesn't it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. That's great. Thank you very much. Next. Quickly, time is running. Someone else? Kenya? And me. Okay. You start, Kenya. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What it's like? It's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. What is this? I like the drive. Oh, nice. Do those does in have an uh view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Building. Perfect. Thank you, ladies. Someone else? Alguien más? Someone else? New expressions or new vocabulary, new words in the conversation? Yes, teacher. Uh, in the question. Uh, guess what? Invitado. No, no. Uh, guess what? Es lo que le decía. ¿Qué crees? Puede, puede ah. ¿Qué crees? Guess what? ¿Qué crees? O oh, adivina qué. Guess what? Guess what? I have a new car. Hey, guess what? I have a new job. Hey, guess what? I have guess 10 what? in my exam. Right? Guess what? That's the expression. Chair. Yes. What is quickly? Usted mencionó esa palabra. Oh, quickly. <laughs> quickly. Uh, rápido. Because the time, right? That's why uh, quickly. Come on, quickly. Rápido. Take advantage of the time. Tomar eh, ventaja del tiempo. That's the word, quickly. Or you can say, hey, quickly. ¿Han visto el Nestlé quick, quick? Spelling, please. Okay. Um, yes, quick. Y por eso es porque se prepara rápido. Nes, ¿Cómo se llama? Nes, 
Nesquik. 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 Ajá. Nesquik. Quick, quick. It's Q U Q U I C K. Quick. Pero luego se le agrega L Y quickly para decir como rápidamente quickly quickly eh, Q U I C K L Y Got it? Yes, yes. perfect. I teacher like like it bien vista al lago Lake View. Lake View. Lake View. Lake View Drive, in this case, no se traduce por ser un nombre propio. O sea, en ese lugar tiene ella el nuevo apartamento. Es como la zona o el, yes, el, exactly. el residencial. Yes. Y por ser nombre propio no se traduce. Lake View Drive. Lake, Lake View Drive. Ah, o sea, no tiene, no tiene, no tiene traducción. No, por ser nombre propio. Está compuesto, ¿no? De lake y luego view. Si estuviese separado, sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. Pero es como right. decir, está, está en la escalón. O sea, el nombre, ¿no? El lugar. No, no sé. Por ser nombre propio, no se traduce. Okay. Okay. Si, estuvi si estuviera separado, como dice la compañera, sería vista al lago, ¿verdad? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. That's it. No more. Okay. Pronunciation. Problems with pronunciation. Listen, I'm going to read and pay attention to some sentences. For example, uh, I'm going to read the first part. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. That's great. Que genial. That's great. What's it, what's it like? What's it like? ¿Cómo es? What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it? Is it very big? Is it very big? Is it very big? Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it? Does it? Does it have a view? Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. No problem. Repeat. Okay. Listen again. Guess what? Now I'm going to read fast. Okay. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? on Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. Rolando? Me estaba fijando de que la pronunciación en inglés es como que van cortando en dos bloques, por decirlo así. Guess what? I have a new I have a, es la, el bloque, a new apartment. No sé si. Mm, probably. 
probably. Oh, es que, por ejemplo, en el japonés, ¿verdad? Lo hacen de tres. Por ejemplo, hacen un bloque pequeño, de ahí otro bloque pequeño, y de ahí uno largo. Entonces en el inglés eso me estaba quejando. Es, sí, sucede, pero también va a depender. Uh, por ejemplo, digamos... La primera frase, ¿no? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Hasta puede ser una sola. Guess what? Guess what? Hay personas que hablan demasiado rápido. Se ha puesto de moda. Hay un video, no sé si ustedes lo han visto en TikTok, de un, de un señor. Y todos están adivinando qué es lo que dice. Demasiado rápido y une todas las palabras. En esta... Yo diría, guess what? Luego hay una situación. Por ejemplo, la palabra have. Have. Eh, porque la E final no se pronuncia. En ciertas ocasiones, la, la vocal última no se pronuncia. Pero luego está otra vocal. Entonces, eh, se une la consonante con la vocal. Eso casi siempre sucede... En, en inglés, igual en español, si la palabra termina con una consonante y luego sigue una vocal, se, se unen. Por ejemplo, acá sería, eh, I have a new apartment. Y luego el new, eh, hay otra A, eso se puede decir como I have a new apartment. I have a new apartment. Va a depender. Pero en parte sí tienes razón. Hay palabras que se unen. Y it happens. ¿Ok? Luego, that's great. That's great. What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Mm -hmm. But this is with constant practice, right? That we can join words or phrases. Mm -hmm. Okay, any other comment? And there you have more questions, if you see. More questions. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, lo que le decíamos a Jesús, right? Short answers. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Or yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Okay? So, with these examples, let's try to complete this conversation. It says, Linda, do you live in an apartment? No. Uh-huh. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't I... in a house. Mm. Este, mm. I do in a house. In the second part, I live. Live. I start. Yes. Sure, no le... Jesus? Yes, no le escuché, lo siento. Oh, uh, no, um, estaba diciendo que era la forma que que te mencionábamos anteriormente de las respuestas cortas. Yes, I do, no, I don't. Que ahí están, ¿no? Okay. Eh, luego, in this case, it says, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. No, I don't. I live in a house. Next question.
Rolando. Ah, yo tengo una, una pregunta. Uh -huh. Resulta que ahí en los videos decía algo sobre el verbo auxiliar, pero no sé si hay otros o solo es el do. En este tema, con lo que estamos viendo, el auxiliar sería el do y el das. En otros temas van a conocer más auxiliares. En aquí en estos está el do y el das. Auxiliar do, das. Sí, es que yo dije, ¿será que solo existe este verbo auxiliar o oh, habrá otras? Hay más en distintos temas. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Second question. Who can give me the question? It a yar. Does, does it? Does it? Has a yard. Have. Does it have, have. have a yard? Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. Does. Yes. yes, it does. That sounds nice. Eso se oye bien. That sounds nice. You alone? Do you? Do you? Do you live alone? Live. Oh, live, live alone. Do you live alone? Kimberly, do you live alone? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I no, don't. I not. No, I don't. Sí. No, I don't. Uh -huh. Gabriela, do you live alone? No, I don't. Kenya, do you live alone? Yeah. Mm, seriously? I don't think so. Alone. Vive sola. Mm, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh -huh. hey, Vilma, do you live alone? No, I don't, teacher. Lindsay, do you live alone? No, I don't. And um, Christian, do you live alone? Alison, do you live alone? No, I don't, teacher. Okay. So let's continue here. Mm -hmm. It says, oh, that sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I. I live with my family. Okay. Pero antes de eso, tendría que ser, no, I don't. Don't. Exactly. No, I don't. I live with my family. Good. Next question. You any brothers or sisters? Do you? Do you? Do you have that? Have. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Esta me la preguntaron, se acuerdan en una práctica donde me estuvieron haciendo preguntas. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I have, I I have, have four sisters. Four sisters. Perfect. That's a big family. Do you have a big house? Very good. Do you have a big house? Yes, we have. Mm. No, yes, we do. Uh, we do. Exactly. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. It does. Does it? No. 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 <laughs> uh, it have. Mm. It have. No. 
has. Has. Yes. It has <laughs> ten rooms. It has ten rooms. Ten rooms. Next. Ten rooms. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Have many bedrooms. Would. Does it have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. Does. Yes, it does. <laughs> it have four. It has four. It has four. <laughs> it has four. Yeah, it has four. Mm, next question. Do you, do you do you ha has have do you have, have your have your have your bedroom. have your bedroom yeah do you have your own bedroom do you have yes. your own own propio own. your own bedroom tienes tu propio cuarto do you have your own bedroom yes, yes I, I have have yes i do yes i do <laughs> yes i do i'm really lucky mm -hmm. i'm really lucky soy sortudo los demás duermen en trillos yes i do i'm really lucky soy sortudo i'm really lucky in this case because we are practicing short answers damos una respuesta corta y luego damos más información como dice ahí no do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Do you have a big house? Yes, we do. It has 10 rooms. 10 rooms. Does it have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. You see? Comments? Vo new vocabulary in the conversation? It is easy. Easy, right? Yes. That's easy. Okay. Um, you have to continue practicing questions every day in your job, in the university, in your office, in your house. Practice questions. Um, Teacher, yes? Este, lo que me está costando un poco es esto, del el has y el have. Cuando es it, es has, ¿verdad? Pero cuando ah. es, digamos, pregunta, do, sería... En tercera persona, does have. Yes. Uh -huh. Recuerden que el has lo utilizamos con he, she, it, pero en la forma afirmativa. Okay. Luego en la forma de pregunta o interrogativa y oraciones negativas es el have con las terceras personas. Justo ayer lo veíamos. ¿Dijo negativo? ¿Interrogativo y cuál otro? Ok. El has. Has. En afirmativo. Con he, she, it. ¿Verdad? Pero luego. En la, part, en la forma negativa. Y de pregunta. Con el he, she, it. Cambia a have. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. More questions? No question. Okay. Um, let's see.
I'm going to show you something. We have in some minutes, two or three minutes. Let me see. Check this. <clears throat> Quickly, there is Oops. there are. There is, there are. Esas dos frases, there is, there are, significa hay. For example, there is a garage in my house. Okay? There is a garage in my house. There are 10 rooms, oops, me corregí acá. Rooms in my house. Okay. There is. Teacher, there is y there are significa hay, ¿verdad? Yes. Now, the difference. La diferencia es there are con nombres plurales. If you see rooms, there are rooms. There are ten rooms. There is con nombres singulares. Garage. Oops, what happened? Me lo corrigió o le escribí mal. Garage. Ok. Garage, only one. So, we use there is. Mm -hmm. There is a garage in my house. There are Ten rooms in my house. Um, there is a, only one, bathroom. There is a bathroom in my bedroom. There are two. There are two mirrors. There are two mirrors in my bedroom. Okay? There is, there are. You see? This is very easy. Okay? There is, there are. There is a garage in my house. There are 10 rooms in my house. There is a bathroom in my bedroom. There are two mirrors in my bedroom. No problem? No. Did you practice this on the platform? Yes, teacher. Very good. Perfect. Keep on working on the platform. Okay. And if you have a question or a problem, 
You can ask me. Okay. Because the time is over. Comments, questions? No questions. No questions. So we. Okay. Esto para otra cosa. Los, los verbos regulares y irregulares. Ya lo mencionó, ¿verdad? En anterior clase. Yes. Pero no sé si lo vamos a poner más adelante también. Porque a mí me da un poco de problema esos. Mm -hmm. Los, el go, el have. Los que vimos, ¿verdad? Creo que ayer y antier los estuvimos mencionando. Y, y a las palabras que se les agregan S, solo es cuando es tercera persona y cuando son plural. Mm. Aquí hay dos espejos. Heroes. Mirrors, ajá. Ok, sí. Agrega S por ser plural. Ajá, acá están. Rooms. Uh -huh. También tienen la S por ser plural. No Todo... se sobreentiende como por el there are. No, siempre se le tiene que agregar la S. Si está usando el there are, la palabra a la cual se está refiriendo tiene que ir en plural. Mm. Por ejemplo, más plurales podría ser there, there are eh, five, five students. Si yo pongo student, ahí está malo, porque estoy diciendo que there are. Desde que puse there are, eso me está indicando que voy a hablar de varios. Y de hecho está el número, cinco. Pero si pongo student, es solo uno. Para que diga varios, entonces le agregamos la S. There are five yes. students. Uh -huh. There are five students. Pero si yo solo me refiero a uno, entonces utilizo there is. There is a. La A significa un o una. There is a student punto there is a student there is a student in the classroom mm -hmm. is it better yes thank you you're welcome Any other question before we stop? Um, well, any comment? If you have any question, you can ask me, okay? Uh, I don't remember. Someone text me to my personal number. Um, I'm going, I can help you, okay? I can help you, but you have to give me time because sometimes, well, I told you I work in the morning. Um, trabajo toda la mañana. I don't remember. I don't remember. ¿Quién me escribió? <laughs> For some help. Si yo estoy libre... Inmediatamente yo les colaboro, les ayudo en cualquier pregunta que me puedan hacer. Ok. If you have any question, any comment, or if you, hey teacher, se le ha olvidado mandarme la lista, mándeme una lista de verbos, please. Text me, no problem. Ok. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for being in class today. Enjoy your dinner and have a very good night. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, Thank everyone. You. Good night. Good night. See you on Monday, right? Good night, teacher. Good, Good night, night, everyone. Monday present. Yeah, Monday. Monday. Okay.
Good night. Good night.